Yo, what's up? This is something I've been wanting to get back into for a while. My own public mentorship. Of course, I do a private mentorship in my Discord. This will be more about general application where that is more personal. I just hope someone watching this is someone who has a lot of aspirations, goals, really determined to take their trading to the next level. I thank God for the opportunity to give that to you. And I'm gonna make sure if you watch this whole series one by one, you will have so much more confidence and just overall joy to continue this journey because it's it sucks. It's tough. This is about to be pretty crazy. Like I said, if you do want to take this a little bit more seriously, you can join my Discord. It's completely free. Live trading, seminars, private mentorship. It's only going to make this process faster. So you guys have already heard the introductory stuff. You guys know who I am. You guys know what I'm about. You guys already know who the fuck I am. I'm sure the introductory stuff you guys already have heard. You guys know who I am. You guys know what I'm about. You guys know what this is all for. Getting better at futures trading. Let's break down one thing for sure. Futures is by far the best. There's nothing else for you to do. I've traded Forex, traded futures. I've traded crypto. I've traded options. I've traded everything. Futures is by far the best place to be. It is going to be the best value of your time it's going to you are going to see success the fastest me, 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 me. understand one thing more than anything else options have greeks options have implied volatility options pretty much have everything stacked against you before you even take a trade forex lot size scammy community there's a lot of imperfections in the forex industry futures it's like the one girl that got away you have no outside factors you have prop firms you know that give you the access to more capital you have the ability to look at price action clearly without any outside factors in a scenario where you buy here you sell here it is the same amount of money every single time no matter what you are doing what time of day when never it's always the same exact thing the one knock that does come with futures people tend to get a little bit ahead of themselves make some quick money pass a funded account try to go for it all you get stuck in this very rinse repeat process of going through funded funded are the best tool we've ever gotten and also the worst tool we've ever gotten i've made this analogy before and i will do it again i have the ability to drive my car normally get to a to b exactly how i should every single time like a normal citizen or i turn into dale Earnhardt jr try to drift try to go around cars try to speed as fast as i can try to get to the finish line maybe i crash maybe i die maybe i kill somebody that is not the car's fault that is you not driving correctly applying that to trading that is not the funded accounts problem it is yours you have the option of having so much capital given to you for such a small amount of money giving yourself you know the the dream all traders want is to have the capital to actually make money full-time trading it is not the funded accounts fault that you keep losing money on the accounts not correctly. Losing accounts are totally normal and it's fine as long as you did the right things. You're going to quickly find yourself in a deep hole where you just keep buying accounts, keep buying accounts, keep buying accounts. Then you look in the back, you look back at it and then you look back at it like a hey, boogie and you see that, oh, I'm already down $3,000 in funded accounts. I got to climb myself out of this hole and this is going to keep digging yourself deeper and deeper. I plan on doing everything I can through this series to make sure that you have so much more information outside of just the chart because I, I really you know people like to consider certain creators that you know that are they're good at certain things i think i like to say i'm one of the best psychological distributing more of a mental side of trading than anybody else what can i do with my current situation to make it the best i possibly can i'm not someone that is too over hopeful or you know too you know negative trading is extremely hard if you jump into it without any experience just like any other career if i were to go try and just get myself you know into a hospital and do a brain surgery on somebody you know it's probably not gonna go well this thing takes time it takes certifications you know and there's no there's no teacher there's no person to hold yourself accountable and that's the number one reason why i think people fail trading is because it's one of the only jobs where you really are your own boss and you can get so deep into the drawdown and to to losing money that it just ends up really messing with your mental transferring over to the charts. There's no one to hold yourself accountable when you take losses. There's no one to tell you what to do. And you know, a lot of people get into this young, they don't have that. And you know, I can, you know, I'm young, I'm 20, bro. I feel like I'm 45, bro. I'm, I'm balding. It's to the point where I have so much experience. I'm so comfortable trading. You know, it's really all about your strategy, building it around something where your mental can be okay no matter what. I just recently changed my strategy. Um, I had a really nice week. I took three trades, made 24K. Um, it's all about your strategy because I was scalping for a while. You guys saw my last couple of videos. It was an amazing strategy. I'm still up trading it that way, but it just got to the point where I was losing so many trades in a row. While meanwhile, that doesn't mean I'm losing more money than I'm making just because of how small the position size was and how small the targets were. You know, most trades that I lost were around 10 points. It just got to the fact where I was continuously losing over and over and over again. And it was just really messing with my mental because, you know, I've, I've taken so many losses in a row. This next trade, I was implying it into the next trade and that was what's messing myself up. I lost confidence. I had to change the strategy. Doesn't mean I'm not going to go back to it, but, you know, you really have to be able to tell yourself when it's time to stop, when it's time to audible, you know, change the play and try and get yourself a new outcome. And that's exactly what I've been doing the last four weeks. 
And you know, this is my first week live and I did amazing. A little bit about myself. Um, again, I'm 20 years old. I've been trading for almost five years. I started trading sophomore year of high school options solely. Um, I first started off going to a seminar and it was about trading and I was really young. I was the youngest person in there. Um, and I, I loved it, man. I love the ability to, you know, be your own boss, make your own money, control everything yourself. Sophomore year, I really got into trading again. I went to more seminars, timid. I didn't know what was going on really. I felt young, you know, obviously. Um, I felt I didn't have the knowledge to, you know, to go interact with other people. Down the line, I got a lot more talkative. I got a lot more, you know, in between people's circles. I met a lot of cool guys, you know, people with aspirations just like me. And I ended up continuing to go to seminars, continuing getting mentored, just kind of opening my eyes to this new world. It didn't start off really well. Got into options, like I said, only had $3,000 to my name sophomore year. Um, ironically put all of that $3,000 into my trading account and my first trade ever. I remember I was in civics class. It was on BLDR. It is a, uh, like a building, a uh, uh, industrial stock took the trade. I didn't really know exactly what was going to happen. I full ported, you know, not even knowing it closed my phone because I was in class, went on my way to lunch, opened it back up. And I was up 50% just like that in an hour instantly, you know, screenshotted it, told my boys about it, flexed my shit, thought I was the man, man, thought I, you know, broke the code. This is one of the most key influential parts in my trading career. After that day, the next day came up and I proceeded to lose everything over the continuous week. I lost my entire account, which, you know, followed up kind of fucked up because again i didn't have any more money to my name it was all gonzo and what happened was um down the line i i took a break i had to stop trading for a while just because i i didn't have any money left had to go work a job for a little bit get money stack up for a while i never forgot about that 50 percent that i made i never forgot about how i felt what was the result of what i did how much money i made in such a short amount of time doing you know basically nothing that feeling never left me i want you guys to also understand and feel that exact way too you guys have seen the potential that there is with trading there is no person that is better at trading than another person it's all about again managing yourself doing everything correctly you have the same exact potential that i do you have the same exact you know opportunity as anybody else you look up to and this is exactly why you're here. It doesn't need to be, you know, a payout or nothing. One trade where you made money and that feeling you felt and the, you know, the positive outcome that came with that, you need to be hopeful and keep that in the back of your mind. That was the only thing that was pushing me forward after that point. You know, the opportunity that is in front of you in the stock market, in the futures market, any sort of investing market is extremely important. And it is the best opportunity in the world. You know, I think being a day trader is the best job in the world. You are successful with it. There's no, there's no place you can make more money as quickly as independent it's all about again putting yourself in the right spot and watching this mentorship i worked for a while opened up options again did really well with it uh, there was a point where my futures or my options account was at thirty thousand dollars pattern day trader i would just continuously trade with that account thirty thousand dollars set every monday and regardless at the end of the week if i'm up or down on that account i will withdraw the profits back to thirty thousand dollars or if i'm down i will put money in to reset my account at thirty thousand dollars every single week and i was doing that for a while i was making pretty good money um and things were going amazing it just got to the point where you know thirty thousand dollars sitting liquid you know, I just felt like I could use that money a little bit more, you know, correctly. It's very risky. This is a very risky game. Um, you know, and putting that money, you know, you're fronting your own capital is so tough to do, especially, you know, if you're a new trader, you don't have that money to trade with. And then, you know, if you end up do having it, you lose it. Met some people, funded accounts kind of started to peep interest to me. And I really thought about it. It was like, why would I put $30,000 of my own money into options when I could spend hundred bucks and get $250,000 in funding where I don't have to risk my own capital. I can make more money and I can do better with it. There was no drawback to it compared to options. And I ended up making the switch. It's taking me a while, but I, I've, I've made some pretty good money. I'm, I'm pretty confident. I love it. All I want to do is just help distribute that to you guys. I have nothing, you know, I would never consider myself, you know, a, an, an anomaly. I'm not someone who is better than you, smarter than you. Um, I'm someone who... I don't really like talk about it, but you know, I started from the bottom and I'm, I'm making a living now. You know, I grew up single mom, raised me, you know, nothing crazy, a very minimal life up till now. I still do. I, you know, I wear a tank top every day, but I don't really spend my money like that. I'm not a big car guy. I'm not, 
I'm not someone, you know, my intentions are to retire my family, make sure they're okay, and, you know, give them the opportunity that I've always wanted to, you know, give back to them. That's always been my goal, you know. A lot of people like to buy cars, they like to flex, they like to, you know, I don't, I don't ever, I don't really have aspirations for that for a long time, you know. And I hope you have those same goals, man. You want to make money, you want to help your family out. You're doing this for the right reasons. You're not doing this to live that high lifestyle. It's not important, man. The money that you make, the money that you create, it's the stuff that is not materialistic, man. Cars don't matter. I've met I've met so many people with nice cars, a lot of money, and they're all dickheads, bro. I've met great people, you know, of that have cars, but majority of them are doing it for the wrong reasons, man. You make all this money, you do you live correctly, and you do it all to impress other people, man. I've never understood it. You're at the point where, you know, I, I think, you know, there's there's a big misconception in the United States and, and everywhere, man. People in the middle class and lower class want to buy these nice things so that they can, you know, try to act like they are part of the upper class. When in reality, why the fuck, if I'm part of the upper class, you know, if I, I have no reason to, you know, tell anybody what I do. I never tell people I'm a day trader. Um, I don't tell people what I do. I don't tell people how much I make. Um, you know, why, why would I go buy Gucci and McLaren's and shit just to impress other people? You know, there's no, there, I have nothing, nothing. I, I don't gain anything from that, you know, so I'd much rather put that money towards a family member. Um, you know, giving people other opportunities that they, you know, naturally wouldn't have, you know, instead of spending money on that stupid stuff, man, I drive a truck, I wear a tank top. Um, I play pickleball all day, bro. Like that's, that's, I live in my dream life, man. And I don't think a car or anything is going to change that. Some things you guys should expect from taking this mentorship, just progress in yourself, man. I, I just want to be, you know, some sort of positive outlook on this entire journey. It's going to be low. It's going to be high. It's going to be, you know, this entire process up, down, up, down, up, down. You just have to keep a level head. If you get up on the week, you know, try to be very humble. If you get down in the week, try to find the process. I'm going to show you everything you need, you know, to build out a strategy for yourself, to give yourself some sort of an edge in the market. I just want to more than anything, just distribute a positive mindset on you. Make sure that you're okay. Pray. I, I really think you guys should start praying about this stuff, man. It's it's really important. You know, doing everything on the outside to make sure that when you get up, when you step in this chart every day, when you sit down at your desk, you have the best opportunity for yourself. You have the best level head to give yourself the best opportunity and the most positive outcome. If you guys have any ideas on topics or anything like that, please let me know. I have a pretty good solid blueprint built out for on how I want to create this. But you know, if I would always appreciate your guys's output, a couple of things I want you to know before you end up getting into this mentorship, do not take this or do not watch this. If you think this is, you know, something you might want to do. If you if this is something you want to do and commit your time to this is where you need to start right now. There's no benefit of half asking something like this. This requires a lot of time and a lot of dedication. If you you can't, you know, watch half of these videos, you know, miss the other ones, trade some of these days and don't trade some of these. I get if you guys have jobs or work or anything you need to do, but try to keep it as consistent as possible. This doesn't take a lot of time, you know, down the line, I trade for an hour a day, but you can back test at night. You know, this isn't a basketball game or nothing where you have to go to a court, you have to go play football, you have to go to a field, you know, turn on your phone, turn on your computer, you have a chart in front of you, there's always something you could be doing to benefit yourself. And that's again, in the eye of the beholder, some people want it more than others. That's just how it goes. And I hope that you watching this, you going out of your way, you're already taking that first step. So just make sure that you go and keep that momentum, you keep your foot against the pedal, you have to keep going. That's the only way this is going to work out for you. There's so many times where I could have gave up and want to work to work work the job, bro. There's so many times where I could have quit, especially about this trading stuff. I could have quit and went back. But again, remember the remember the highs. Remember that first trade I took. I can't not go back to that. I can't not live a life where I can make that much money from my phone in an hour and be comfortable sitting working a job, knowing that that's happening every single day without me. And that's exactly the approach you need to have. You need to have that outlook and that mindset or else this will never work for you. Expect this to be very in-depth. Expect this to be as entertaining as possible. No, I, uh, you know, I'm not someone who gets super serious, but I, you know, I'm gonna try and be the, the, the happy medium. Just know every single day is an opportunity for you to get better. Every single time you step up, wake up every morning, you have an opportunity to improve yourself. It's just about if you wanna play Brawl Stars or you wanna hop on Trading View. So please just make sure, try to give yourself the benefit, man. Try to make sure that you have a good mindset. Make sure you're journaling. This is gonna be stuff we talk about more. Start waking up early. Start praying every night. Start working out, man. Do these things outside of your room that are going to help you step up and sit down at your desk and be way more confident, be way more just happy because a lot of people depend on this shit way too early in their life. You know, they, they automatically start trading. They want to go, you know, quit their job right away. I will say the number one thing that got me better at trading was worrying less about trading. It's all about how much money I can make, how many minis I can trade. Oh my gosh, if I have 20 accounts and I trade 10 minis a day, I can make $20 million a day. Worry about the points. Don't worry about the money. 
worry about the long term zoom out. If I trade for the next 10 years after that, I will have over 10 years of market experience and I would only be 25. Any is there any career path in the world where you spend 20 years trading, 20 years being a doctor, 20 years playing football, 20 years walking dogs where that person is not one of the best and highest earners, highest producers of whatever they do. So just think about that, man. Be playing for that big time because but you have to be some sort of realistic, bro. If you can retire before you're 40 years old, you are you're setting yourself up for pretty much top 0.1% of people. This was less educational and more informational about my life. You know, if you're going to be watching these videos, doing these hour long videos with me, um, I want to make sure you guys know who I am. You guys know what I'm about. Just know I have your best interest in mind and I'm going to make sure that you have everything inside my brain because it's small, but like other things, it works. I love you guys. Welcome to the new start for you.